this all? You look back at this game and think about the red zone opportunities. And is that kind of the difference in this one? Yeah, I think uh, missed opportunities to to um, to get points, and you know we had a chance right there uh, with our hands on the ball, you know, down in the red zone to prevent um, scoring opportunity. Um, but you know, sacks we had gave up six sacks. You know, that was probably the biggest negative in the game uh, for us. Uh, versus a team like that, I mean, you're going to take points, right? Uh, obviously, you want to uh, you, you want to score touchdowns in the red zone, uh, but the biggest thing is coming away with points. And uh, proud of the guys for that. Uh, but at the end of the day. Uh, they made one more play uh, than, than we did. And, uh, um, you know, I, I got to do a better job of, of having my guys ready uh, in, that, uh, in that moment to, to, make the, uh, to make the play. Any overtime, Miami ran the ball three times in a row. Is that kind of what you expected from them after, after what they did last week? Um, you know, I think it was a, a back and forth game. I thought that the defense did a good job uh, overall holding up against the run. Um, but when I saw them come out in 12 personnel, uh, I figured they knew what they were they knew what they were playing for, right? So they knew that uh, they got an unbelievable field goal kicker, right? The biggest thing is is try to go score, but make sure that you come away with points, you know, in that situation, especially when you know what you're playing for. So I anticipated, and then biggest thing is we gave up too much on first down. You know, we gave up too much on first down. Now a second is short, and and you just had success. Why not run the same play? You know, and, and see can you uh, spit it again, uh, and that's what they did. And then, you know, we had an opportunity right there to get the get the ball carry on the ground at the end. Uh, but at the end of the day, their guy uh, in that particular moment on that one particular play, um, you know, he had a little bit more want to uh, to get in the end zone than for us to get him on the ground. Man, I'm, I'm, what I told this team is, man, I'm, it's a hurt football team. You know, they know they care, man. Uh, if they didn't care, they wouldn't show up every single week, right? And, and you think about um, kind of the world that they live in, right? Uh, especially everything that happened last year. There probably is a lot of people that tell them, why would you, right? You know, you don't need to. You shouldn't. And then you, you start, you know, 0-5. And, and everybody's probably telling you, man, why are you still playing, man? It's season's over. But they keep on scrapping. Right, they keep on uh, and they keep on getting better and keep on uh, improving. Uh, so I think uh, we we've learned a lot over the course of the season. Uh, we still got uh, a ways to go, uh, but really, really proud of the guys. Thought we played clean football, didn't have any penalties, you know, um, no penalties, and um, you know we ran the ball effectively. You know, we 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 just you know we we didn't make the play at the end, and and we gave up too many negative plays uh, in particular with the uh, with the sacks that got us behind the chains. I thought I thought uh, when we were efficient and effective on first down, uh, we were able to play with a little bit of tempo and kind of keep them off uh, keep them off balance. Uh, but but at the end of the day, I mean, you're measured by winning and losing, and we didn't make the play at the end to win the game. Yeah. Right. Well, I think it goes back to, you know, what you learn, you're up by 11 at JMU, you know, and you don't finish and, and you kind of took your foot off the gas and, you know, you, you could say that we went in a locker room, but that, but that don't matter, right? You got to finish the game, you know, and then we're up at Boston College, you know, by a couple scores. And so, so I think what you saw is, is a football team that's growing and getting and, and becoming more confident and, and really, really uh, internalizing, you know, what it is to, uh, to play a four quarter game. And, you know, my message to these guys was, man, this is ACC football. This is what you want. You want to be in a one possession, four quarter game with the ball in your hands, you know, the last time to go to go seal the victory. And, and, and the more we grow, the more we're in those situations. It's tough now. It's hurting right now because we're on the other side. Uh, but I believe what you'll see is down the stretch, more confidence will be gained to where when we're in that situation again, you know, we find a way to, to, to make the play. Well, uh, it'll be great to be back at Scott Stadium, and, and truth be told, man, I, I, I got to figure out how to get the guys to defend Scott Stadium better. You know, we have not won an ACC game uh, in Scott Stadium yet, so, so, man, we got a lot to play for. We got a lot of pride on the line. We need to defend our home turf, uh, but we still got four games left, um, and, and one thing about me is I'm not going to stop believing. 
right? That's what faith is. You know, faith is the hope of things uh, to come and the evidence of things unseen, all right? So there's four games left. Man, we're going to battle. Uh, we're going to take it one game at a time, one day at a time. But uh, I know one thing about me. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not quitting. I'm not, and, I, and the sense that I get with that football team in there is, man, they're not, they're not, they're not quitting either. I mean, they want to, you know, they, they want to taste that, uh, that taste of victory. And they're going to they're work their tail off. And we got a lot to play for still this season. Hey, you know, fourth and three right there. I mean, one, I, I, I called a timeout on the, uh, on the quarterback sneak that we got, right? Just I, I felt like it was a little bit longer than the yard. I just I didn't know if that was a little bit too long, so I wanted to think about it. And, uh, but, you know, fourth, fourth quarter or late in the game, man, we didn't come. We didn't come just to, you know, we came to win, right? So kind of sending a message to the guys, like, hey, we're going to be aggressive here. And, you know, right there at the, sec at the, at the end of the uh, second quarter, you know, we, we, we were planning to be aggressive. We come out, first play call, we have a missed assignment. So we get behind the chains, which kind of changed things there, changed the dynamics uh, when I wanted to be a little more aggressive and go for points there. But um, at that point in the game, man, you know, the defense was playing. Uh, pretty good, you know. I like to look in the offensive size, and you know, if you want to win games like this, I mean, you got to be able to go convert on fourth down. That's something we might not have been able to do early in the year. Uh, we talk about and think about the control. Right. I, I, I think. I think. Uh, just, just overall, starting to see offensively, we're playing a little bit more consistent. You know, obviously, still uh, got got areas we got to clean up, but overall, I think you, you, you're seeing a little bit more rhythm. You know, offensively, um, and defense is is scrapping. Man, they're playing a bunch of young guys over there, and they're continuing to find ways to get stops. You know, I think if if any of us said that we were going to overtime with that football team, man, we would have took it. Now it's three years in a row that it's <laughs> goes down to the last play of the game. Uh, so so hopefully next year uh, it's not that it's not that situation. But um, man, proud of my football team. Man, the, the, the coaches and the players, the resilience, you know, how they've continued to fight. Uh, I think it's just uh, just evidence of the quality of the individuals that we have uh, on the staff and in that locker room that, man, they're going to show up and they're going to fight regardless of the circumstances. And I think, you know, for us to, to go where I believe this program can go, that's the mindset that we have to have, that it's about competitive stamina. We're not worried about a circumstance. And I see progress uh, each, uh, each week. We're going to, uh, I'll take the last question for Coach, and then we'll have our student athletes in the hallway out here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, each week is a, is a, is like a season of its own, right? There's there's a lot that you battle through just to get to uh, get to game day, uh, but I've seen the guys, man, uh, really really hurt and find a way to, to show back up and keep keep uh, keep going to work. And then I I've seen them, you know, learn how to handle success, you know, a little bit. Uh, through a bye week and being able to, to, to go on the road and then, you know, to show up here, uh, you know, an 18-point underdog and nobody giving them a chance and, you know, people questioning uh, if what they did the week before was, was, was a fluke or did they get lucky and for them to show up and battle and, and get to the position uh, to where game on the line, uh, man, I'm, I'm super proud of, uh, of this group and uh, my job is to, is to make sure that when we get to those moments, I have them ready uh, and confident uh, to make the play. Uh, to win the game.